All right. Hi there. Um, this is a video for Maisie, and I'm going to put it up on the channel here so that if, uh, if anyone else wants to look at it, they can. So what we're making is a shape that we use for, uh, well, it can be used for visual effects. Uh, you can use it for other things as well. Um, this, you know, it's just a, a way to make uh, an interesting shape. Um, so to get started, um, I was I was looking at it's deform and curve warp. That's the one that we're going to be using. And when I open up Maya, I didn't have curve warp in here, so I don't know if this was the issue that Maisie, Maisie was having. But if you go to Windows and then you go to your Plugin Manager, uh, you, if you just type in curve, you'll see curve warp. You can click it on, and then you got it. So that's the big, that's the main one we're using. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mesh, and then we're going to make it follow that curve. So right now this is just one centimeter by one centimeter. So I'm going to make that a meter by a meter, and then I have to decide how many divisions I'll need to follow the curve. Um, so I I only need a I don't need any divisions going one way or I could put one in or something, but I, I, I just have to, whatever way I run the curve. So I'm going to run the curve out along the z-axis here. Um, so if I go into my side view here, um, I'm going to go into the side, and then I'm, I'm going to draw my curve in. So let's take and we'll create a curve here. And I'll just hold down X here um, to snap to the grid. And I'm going to make my curve run up here, come down here, and it's going to cross over the axis again. And it's going to go something like that. There's my curve. And then if I come back, you can see my curve and the plane that's going to follow the curve. So basically, I have to ask, how many divisions do I want along this length here? Um, so I don't know. You can, you can try different numbers. Um, these are easy enough to make. You can make this a few different times. Um, but I'm going to, I need more than 10. So maybe I'll put it like uh, 25 or something like that. And, and then I also want this to be visible from all angles. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate it a few times here. And then I'm going to, I'm going to rotate this. Uh, so if you hold J, you can kind of get, uh, let's just do 45. Shift D uh, will repeat the action. Shift D again. There's all those all those bits there, and then I'm going to join these guys. Not not the curve. Control clicking. Uh, I'll join these guys together. Mesh. Combine. And then I'll go edit. Delete history here. And now, <coughs> this this shape will follow that curve. Um, but another thing that I tend to do with these, and I, I I see done with them, it's not me who invented this, obviously, but you'll see a little bit of a twist along the length. So if you go to uh, deform, and then you go to uh, nonlinear twist, um, you can. You can set the start and end angle. I'll just hit apply here. Now that's that's obviously twisting it the wrong way. So I'm going to hold down J here, and I'm just I'm just going to make sure. Oh, hang on. I want that to actually be locking in angles there. Yeah, because I want that 90 exactly. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, so I've got a bit of twist on there. I can play with that later. So now what I'm going to do is select my mesh, select my curve, and then I'm going to go to deform, and I'm going to go hit curve warp, and now it's following the curve, um, but it's it's keeping its length. So all we have to do is turn off keep length, then it's going to follow that curve there. Now this is kind of where I can say, well, did I get enough? It, did I get enough divisions in that? to to maintain the 
you know, does it, it's not too, sh too uh, sharp or anything like, I think that's all right. Um, now what I'll do is I'll just go edit. So another thing, so I could go in, in, and change the curve a bit if I wanted. Uh, let's see, curve warp. I can come in and and change the, uh, well, where is that? Here, I'll, I'll click on this curve thing here. Oh, that's not what I want. Twist. Oh, here's twist. Start angle, end angle. We can we can play with these guys and kind of get this how we want it looking here. Anyways, you get the idea. There's a nice twist in it. Uh, so when I'm happy with that, I'll I'll select this guy, edit, delete history. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that if I go to uh, view and I go to uh, or so if sh shading, and I turn on back face culling, you'll see that only some planes are visible here. So you can have a shader that's got culling turned off, which is an easy fix, or you can simply duplicate this guy. Uh, mesh display reverse. And what that does is it just flips the face normals. Take these two guys and we go to uh, mesh combine. And then what that does, uh, we'll delete history again. History, you give it a nice name. Like, I don't know. It's, it, it's obviously it's going to need a better name, but here. worm <laughs> I don't know the, I don't know if th these are used usually for like energy beams or something like that um, and yeah you can make that curve more interesting as well it was a pretty simple um, simple curve uh, but that's it that's that's all there is to it and um, yeah you can see that the mesh is double-sided now um, you kind of want you kind of want the origin to be at the zero world zero um and and so that's we'll, we'll, we can take that into the game now and try it out uh so i'll leave it there uh, if you wanna if you wanna see something else let me know Maisie. <laughs> i'll add it to the channel uh take care hope you're doing well let's turn this off here <laughs>